It's very gorgeous, the film is. Um, what drew you then to this character, Roz? Because it is very different to the other bits that you've done, isn't it? Yeah, I was fascinated by the idea that I am a living, breathing, feeling person and I had the task to play a non-living, breathing, feeling thing. Yeah. Uh, I thought it would offer me a unique opportunity. But the story is also a really sweet and earnest. I'm absolutely yeah. bonkers for this film. They're, they're loving it so much. But I understand you had to really push yourself physically and your voice in this role, am I right? Well, yes. I was inspired by AI voices like Alexa and Siri. Mm -hmm. And what they have in common is this relentless positivity. They're very bright. Yeah. And so that vocal posture is very different from my own. Uh, it's quite athletic, actually. So in the process, I actually injured myself and had to remain silent for three months in order to recover without needing surgery. Oh three months? Yes, three months I spent in, on vocal rest. It was difficult, uh, but uh, I got through it. And listen to me now. <laughs> when you say wow. vocal rest, is that just like completely silent or is that just like minimum? Can you walk around with a sign saying, don't talk to me? Well, I, I had a little badge that said I was on vocal rest. So the three people didn't think I was rude when I didn't respond to things. Okay, perfect, yes, perfect. and then I had a dry erase board that I would use to write messages. I could speak a little bit, but just, you know, like bedroom voice is what I'd call it. Right, bedroom okay. voice. Bedroom voice. Yeah. That is a proper suffering for your art, that yeah. is, isn't it? <laughs> it sure is. There's a brilliant cast, Pedro Pascal, Bill Nye, but of course, because you've recorded all your parts separately, you didn't meet until much later on in the process. Bill Nye, only last night or the night before? Yeah, just last night. How I was him. it then, being able to get together as a gang and reflect on the work that you've done? It's cool, and it's also awkward. It's kind of like the first day of school where you don't really know everybody, but you feel like you should, yeah. you know. Uh, so it was a little awkward, but also just really, it's charming. Everybody did such a great job, so it was a n nice opportunity to be able to go up to people and just thank them for their role in it. And I'm a big fan of Bill Nye, oh, so yeah. I had to contain myself. Well, well I mean, I, I didn't realise this as well. I mean, you must be a fan of lots of different films because you actually started as a production assistant yeah. on a movie working with Ray Fiennes and, and Rachel Weisz, right? Yes, that was my first uh, movie set experience. Yeah. They were shooting in my neighborhood in Kenya and I'd just gone back to Kenya from, uh, for the summer holidays and I just, I really wanted to be a part of the set. They gave me a chance and uh, I was a production assistant and I was in charge of getting Rafe his coffee and Rachel Weisz her <laughs> Earl Grey tea. <laughs> oh. And is it right that Rafe then went to the screening of 12 Years a Slave, which of course you won an Oscar for? Yeah, unbeknownst to me, he was actually in the audience the first time the movie screened at uh, Telluride, the Telluride Film Festival. And the next day we were, we were walking around uh, in the street and I bumped into him and went up to him and said, do you remember me? And he said, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether he was being polite or what, but yes, I did get to see him and nice. he was really chuffed that I had done that film. Oh. oh, Well, The Wild Robot is in cinemas from Friday and it is beautiful. It's fantastic.